Welcome back, everybody. Today is the last session of our React training or lesson, whatever you call it. It doesn't really matter. So what's the plan today? We will do React Router DOM revision. And after that, we will talk also about third party packages, maybe Node, uh, Node SaaS, just to use SaaS, Bootstrap, how we use Bootstrap. And Bootstrap is, as you know, it's a CSS framework or library, Bootstrap, Foundation, Material UI, Semantic UI, Styled Components. All this uh, helps you to write CSS. And the moment it's related to time. And uh, also, Katharina, you asked me in the PM. What is NPM? Why we install NPM packages to each projects you have asked? And I think I will answer this right now. But before that, actually, I have to have a React, a React project running. Okay. So then to do that, I have to create a folder and I call it week eight. Yes. And then I can create this mis miscellaneous or whatsoever. I don't know the name of the project. I call it because we will learn in that uh, different things. Maybe I think I can just start by npx uh, create React app. And I will call this again, React Router. Dome revision. And we will do step by step. Yes. Uh, what is NPM? I think it's very good to uh, 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 define NPM as the word. Uh, refers to an is node p package m management node package management what does that mean uh, the first time npm used to use just to write packages only for uh, node node projects and the way we handle is actually now that way maybe what does that mean still now or maybe i have to start a node project here and it will be easy what does that a node project looks like it's so easy Let, let's uh, start here uh i can uh, oh what is this yeah mm, i can say a node node practice yeah then uh, i can open it instantly here yeah i prefer like this and i call this git uh, not git actually sorry npm init so what does that mean i'm creating actually a package uh, package.json like this, and it's asking me package name practice. So it's going to be now I'm about to create a package actually. Uh, and it says, uh, do you want to call it? If I write uh, something new, it takes, but if I don't, it will take this as an default. Okay, take it as it is. Version, the version of the package. Is, is it the first version? Or if I want, I can, but it's the first, so I don't want to change the description. Uh, this is uh, just uh, a demo of uh, a node uh, project or something. Uh, index, uh, maybe I can start with up to JS or something. Yeah, or I can leave it as it is. Uh, command, you can write uh, git repo, just I don't want it for keywords. Uh, maybe um, JavaScript uh, node. But you can leave it also uh, express maybe. Author, you can put it uh, just empty or maybe you write. Okay, uh, then um, license, uh, you may go MIT or the different versions. Yeah, is this okay? It shows what I wrote for this and it's me like this yeah 
Okay, yes. If you just uh, click enter, uh, it just finished for you. Okay, now let me open that uh, just as in a separate uh, thing. Uh, by the way, what we do is just different from uh, what's running, right? Uh, what's the no word of practice? Yeah, it's here. Let's open. Have you seen, guys? What file do you see here? Yeah, yes. So as you can see, uh, and, and the name is NK practice, the version is zero, it has some description, the, the file name is after you write also, you can change it here. Maybe you can call it server.js. Server .js or app.js, it doesn't matter. I usually call it server.js if it's in the node. Okay, then so far it doesn't have anything. Can I add uh, packages? Yes, I can say npm install, for instance, express. I want to add express. A mongoose at one, as like, for instance, if you uh, have a space and if you write different uh, module names or package names at once, you are installing different. Uh, uh, remember, so far we don't have, uh, in the scripts here, we don't have package yet. Actually, not in the scripts, dependencies. We don't have dependencies yet. Remember what it looks like now. After I install, let's see. Express. Just give it some time. Yeah, in Express is, uh, has been installed and it should be somewhere. Have you seen uh, dependencies? Express has been installed now. Okay, let's add more. Maybe uh, npm install moment. Um, maybe another moment. Uh, Mongoose. It's a, a database. Uh, the schema, uh, maybe dots NV, it's something uh, related to uh, environment uh, variables. Uh, let's see for, for this. Yeah, it's installed now. By now I should see um, my package, the packages that are responsible for this application. So this application should have uh, these uh, uh, packages to run, they are dependencies, okay? Uh, and we have dependencies and dev dependencies. Now let's install dev dependencies, for instance. Um, maybe test, test if I uh, uh, install, for instance, just uh, npm install and just and just is actually a testing tool and Dave, I can say it uh, uh, like this, Dave, that means it's going to be installed as in, is it save Dave? Yeah, sometimes if you don't actually installing as say uh, Dave, dependency NPM, so. Yeah, same thing, something like this. I will explain the difference between dev dependency and dependencies. First, let's see uh, the installation first. Okay, I think now let's see. Now we have to dependencies, I mean, uh, dependency categories, as you can see, this is dependency and this is dev dependencies. Okay, dev dependencies are packages that we use when we are developing to taste and also to improve our productivities. We don't need them uh, during deployment, yeah? After it deploys, the application does need these dependencies, but these dependencies are dependencies the application depend on. 
Is it clear? Between this? Yeah. Yes. So, to answer this question, what is an NPM? NPM is a way to handle different uh, uh, packages. What are these packages? Yeah, different package. Where are they now? Uh, they are in the node module. Okay, why we install them not different? Because different projects need different uh, packages. Yeah. Uh, for instance, if I am doing React, I don't need Express. Uh, I don't need Mongoose because it's just only front end part. Yeah. Uh, even um, it depends what. And in my, if I'm using a node, I don't need like uh, Material UI or Bootstrap or any front end or CSS frameworks. But this moment, for instance, now I'm using it because time can be used in the back end or in the front end. Yeah, so for instance, just to start, uh, because this, uh, if we want, just to show you also, let's call it this index or server. Uh, where am I? I'm not sure where I am exactly. And I may just uh, um, server.js. Uh, I can say honest uh, express, um, then require, because the way we import is a bit different when we are working on uh, express. And then actually I have to say honest express router. So this is the way we uh, handle the then actually app.gate and you may have I will explain request response as in a callback. And then maybe I can say send send not response, response dot send hi. Uh, but here uh listen. We have to have a port. The port should be uh, maybe 5,000. React user runs at 3,000. We may say console.log v maybe app is running at port 5,000. Just something. If I run this actually, it will start the server. This is the list we need to run a server, so I have to open this. And different. So to run it, I call it the JavaScript list in the JavaScript uh, file list. So node dot server. Like server .js. Uh, I have some problem. module well, what does it say it's cannot find a server no it's not a very web express Yes. Okay, maybe I can check from other codes if I have some problem with not. I have lots of express. I got the server. I may have this app. Yes. Um, I think uh, I don't have to call this the router. This could be enough. And still I have problem. App.get, this is the route, the home route request. And let me see that. 
Uh, upload listen. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have also problem here. Writing. And the port should be coming here uh, at 5,000. And uh, the callback comes later. Also, server run. All right, again, go well, ahead, still some problem. Well, let's see, for instance, one route. Oh, it doesn't have any route, why? And uh, maybe I have to go to another routes, routes, route. And yeah, that could be a bit different, but it's okay. Ah, and for this is easy, express JS. Oh, because the it, there's just a getting started boilerplate for us to hello world. You need this, you need this port, and yeah, maybe I can even copy this uh, with snow. We have import the express and we invoke it and we have the port. You know, like let's change to 5000 because I use it for React and it's, it has been called here. Yeah, I think, let me try it now. Uh oh, I think we cannot find a module the server. Why? Server, because the file name was wrong. I see, it has been no. I thought Kirsi is here. Kirsi usually help us here when we make a mistake. Okay, that was a tiny mistake. Just yeah, now as you can see, our server is running. So that means this is the back end. And where do you get it? Uh here, local host. Uh, you should change this to five thousand. Oh guys, now you are almost starting the back end. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, if you check this door, maybe I can say another route, it is so students, and I may say this, one, hello students. And then if you see now, I have to refresh it and I have to go to students route. Yeah, but why? Maybe I made a typo again. Yeah, the problem is I have to stop this and rerun again. Yeah, that is horrible, right? I will show you some technique to stop that. Hello, students. Now I have to again install something. I can install it here or we have here again. npm install node mode. Node mode. Uh, maybe I can stop it because I don't like to install node mode as in a dependency instead of dev dependency. Save dev. Because I want you to, to understand the difference between dependency and dev dependencies. But now actually now we are almost learning backend. Okay, so let's see what we have uh, in, in the dependency this, but in the dev dependency we have nodmon. Why I installed nodmon this one? The reason why, if you remember, I refresh it, it didn't work. I have to run this now and again. So that is not easy for me, just run, stopping this and running again. So now instead node mon and the name of the file, after this node mon is so nice. When there is a change in the file, it will help me to update and I don't have to come and uh, stop the uh, running server and restart again. Yeah, so now maybe let's, let me show you how we create students. What, what are my students, students name? I may show you some kind of a JSON file, name uh, Kirsi, 
and age uh, 21. And uh, skills, so maybe she may have HTML, uh, CSS, and uh, JavaScript. And I will copy this to all of you. Of course, I will adopt. Then Julia, and uh, but it sounds like Julia, but it's okay. And now we can go for Maria, and I think everybody should be the same age. There should be a bit of a difference, and this is sample, and everybody should have uh, UI designer and additional also here React here a uh, Python too. Yeah, now maybe I can just leave this data at the top uh, here. Well, you know, it's a simple um, data structure. As you can see, you see arrays inside the arrays. There are objects. Okay, then up, gate, and, uh, and instead we may call it students. Uh, API. Okay, then response request, and then we may say response dot JSON. I think. Yeah, and then we can pass students. Now, if I go to uh, here, uh, because the home is already taken us. Uh, even the home instead, we can even say it uh, welcome. Welcome to the bucket. It's a backend application. So this uh, it's the home and the students and the students. So maybe I can say most of the time, API, the version and something it has, but now since it's a quick fix, let's say students and then API. Now, r.json is not a function, but let me explain why. Uh, what is the. Uh, oh, well, it will just save it yeah, because nowadays it's so smart. Uh, students. I will just send it. All right, and it will be response to send is not a function. Uh, sorry, I noticed that uh, in the last update get recent track on switched places. Does oh, it oh, 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 for some reason I wrote it in the wrong way. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, uh, I go for Jason. Yeah then not should be recognized. Yeah, yeah, do you see something you're familiar with? As you can see, now we have for, yeah, this is the kind of, uh, yeah, now you're about to develop an API, but today's lesson is not all about the backend. Let's get back to our lesson. <laughs> yeah, it took us a long time. Anyway, so the reason why NPM came at the first time, it used to uh, use for, node, but now we can use it also for React, yeah? So as you can see, we have the node and whoa, the node in the important already, most of the important packages are there whenever you just install NPM. But here, the most important for this package are the, uh, especially this, the express moment and the mongoose, if I am going to use them, yeah? For now, even I didn't use the others, I just used only moments, I mean, express. Uh, uh, from this, the div dependencies, I used the node mon to refresh, yeah? To restart my page, my, uh, my application. Okay, now I have to stop this node mon, control C, yes. I'm done and I'm going to do that. I hope, uh, um, Katarzyna, did you get an idea of why we need? Yes. Yes, that is. So we, we can use it in the front end, in the back end, anything related to a JavaScript package, we can use that. Yes. 
Okay, now uh, I think this should be ready. Uh, let's start our application. This, I can open it. Uh, I'm in favor of this uh, Git bash and I want to go to uh, here and maybe CD week uh, eight and CD react. Yes, and NPM start, right? The reason why NPM start works because as you can see, if you go here, uh, yeah, this React script is here. So NPM knows that it's coming and uh, spinning this uh, part of the code, the script. Yeah, so now it's here. I want to put it the other side and it's a good idea to put this. And the point today is to revise or in this part is to revise the React router and it will be really fast because it's a revision, right? Revision, yes, who doesn't like revision? Everybody loves revision. And let's just remove the... Uh, unnecessary part, where are we here? Yes, I think by now you are a React Ninja and let's just destroy this. Great. And of course, there's nothing here. I may just create a, a different apps. For instance, Honest Home, yeah? The homepage, who doesn't like to be at home? Everybody loves to be at home, yes. And you may call it Sweet Home, yeah. Okay, then we, let's just uh, call that and I call it home, yeah? Just, it should be coming, yes. Maybe um, I did have extra and I don't really like any kind of semicolon in my code. Uh, code is about, who doesn't like to, uh, to talk about himself? Everybody, right? And let's just say about me or you. Great, this one. I think so far, this is so easy for you about. Great. And now maybe contacts, honest, uh, contacts, contacts, contacts. And let's uh, create a contacts, uh, H1, contacts. Yes. And let's also call this it. What do you think? Is it clear so far, guys? Yeah. Yeah, you have three components and you just call them here. But you see all of them at once. In the meantime, actually, let's also install our React router DOM that's responsible for the routing, we didn't have it yet. Uh, so we have to install it. Maybe there might be already an open shell. Uh, it's somewhere else, I can destroy that. Um, maybe, yeah, this looks like it's there. Okay, so I have to check uh, uh, there, where am I? Uh, I think CD, uh, revision. Yeah, so npm install react router dom if you ask me why i'm installing because i want to make use of the react router dom to make routing on my application yes great now until that let's just create more honest courses you remember last time courses or of course we have another component and let's just put h1 and the courses because in this, uh, these are beautiful uh, React components. They don't have much information and they are doing just explicit return, right? But depends on the information we put in that component, we will re, uh, refactor or change it, yeah? Yeah, now maybe it's, it's not a good, I, I think there's no any way that you can hide one of the information uh, so maybe we can put here your UL and you know how to make uh, this uh, routing. Yeah, so maybe we can say home. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I can say href. I can say to the home. Uh, 
that's good. I can duplicate this uh, a couple of times and we can have some kind of, uh, uh, that's the about, and maybe that's the uh, contacts. And uh, of course I have to change this to about, and this also has to be changed to contacts. And maybe it's better to make it similar and it's lowercase. Okay, good. And I think uh, we, are, we are left with one. Maybe I think that is, well, I'm sorry, I think I destroyed my uh, courses because you have courses. Yeah. Sorry if I may ask. Yes. Instead, we use a link. Why can we use link? Or link. nav link. Uh, both are okay. There's some minor feature differences, but it's okay. You can use either of them. Okay. But I think the nav the nav link has more features, and it looks it it seems for me it's um, recent. And for instance, last time uh, both are okay. Both are okay. I think that's my answer. Yeah, because last time you have to change this a to link or nav, uh, nav yeah. link yes I so that's why i asked you again yes both are okay both are okay but because right away i didn't manage to uh, remember the uh, how to make active uh, uh, link using the link then uh, i just chose nav uh, link but both do have active uh, link both but i just didn't remember the syntax for the, the link both are possible. Okay, still it's installing, so let's just keep it. You went muted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was lifting my table, so you will not be distracted by that. That's why I just muted for some time. Okay, good. Uh, still, it's uh, installing. Uh, now, let me take you to the project. Remember, the node module is just the place where to store all the packages you install. And when you push it to GitHub, it will not be pushed. And that's why we need this, the git ignore. Yes, this means we are discriminating to push. So it will not be pushed. So, and anything related to this, the fav icon, do you know this fav icon? The fav icons, so it will be here. Uh, these are also related to the fav icons, momfist.json file. If you uh, want to develop this progressive web app, do you know progressive web app? Okay, for let me show you. It's a website, it's a progressive web app, uh, web, uh, uh, for instance, is it? Uh, of course, we are developing it. Uh, for instance, this the Express website. It's not a progressive web app. Let's see this one. If it was, uh, it may have a plus sign here. Uh, most websites are not, uh, for instance, do, yeah, this is more related to, to create a view here. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so uh, you will see a plus sign here. That plus sign allows you to, uh, to create uh, an icon on the desktop. And that icon will help you to launch the website. So it, sound, it, it feels like a mobile app somehow. Um, maybe, let's see. Yeah, one of uh, the thing. And if it's uh, 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 this uh, progressive web app, um, you can also add this uh, offline uh, feature, offline, um, sometimes when the internet is not available. So the data is already on the uh, phone. So users do not, in, uh, do not 
uh, get entrapped the right way, it has also that possibility. So whenever you develop that, so actually a couple of posts uh, here uh, make it a script and a couple of changes in here. Uh, Robots.takers is actually uh, to avoid or allow uh, users to scrape your website, yeah? This is just a place where you put, uh, but actually uh, this doesn't prevent it, but just to put that, you put an information to allow or disallow. Uh, some big institutions, uh, for instance, Twitter, if you uh, disallow your website, they don't uh, scrape it. Uh, uh, Facebook, they don't scrape it. Uh, if, if you have this, uh, if you disallow it. Now maybe what I'm telling you sound a bit complicated uh, because um, whenever you share uh, a website or a link, have you seen a photo comes? Have you seen that photo? Just one photo, a card photo show up with the link. Have you noticed that? Hmm. Maybe I can take you to LinkedIn. Uh, and yeah, uh, for instance, someone shared, someone shared this defeat take. I'm sure he didn't put this uh, photo together with the link. He just shared the link. But now you see uh, this uh, photo, right? Yeah. So sometimes uh, LinkedIn to get this photo, uh, as in we call it uh, what is the name graph, uh, open graph image, open graph image. So sometimes you may search also how to put an open graph image in a website. So. This uh, LinkedIn as an application has to go through this website to come up with this the open graph image of the website. Yeah, so if you disallow searching, LinkedIn will never uh, touch it. Uh, that, that's what I meant. But you don't have to understand this in one go, guys. I'm just adding you additional information. All the scripts, the codes we, um, on right will be here. And most of the time, we may need some structuring. Today, we have to do some structuring. For instance, assets. In the assets, maybe we can divide uh, the assets also into different, maybe images and maybe also uh, CSS or styles. Um, then maybe if you have other things, you can also put there. And then all the styles and the images will go there. And then also, of course, we do also components. The components file go there, here. Uh, then we don't have to be distracted by social media. And okay, the Git ignore I told you. And if I want to be ignored by Git, you put it here. And this package look actually Today, for instance, if you install some uh, some package, React, uh, let's see, React Router DOM, we installed it, and the version is 5.20. So this uh, package lock actually lock the version. Lock the version means it will um, it will be as a reminder whenever you use it again. Uh, we will not install the latest or the previous old. Instead, it just install exactly this version. Yeah, but this means actually five or above. This actually the versioning this five or uh, seventeen or above. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so the package dot JSON is like a shopping list, as I told you. The different the the name of the package, yeah, but for this case, it's not the name of the package, more the name of the application and, um, and the versions. I don't know the, what is private, it came in recently. Uh, and dependencies, 
and the, the scripts, the, dif the different scripts to uh, that works. This is to run for building uh, and also for testing. Uh, yes, and uh, yeah, the different yarn lock. The yarn lock and package lock are the same because now I have installed the both and the PM and you see those together. Um, yeah, that is all. Let's get back to the link. Uh, there is a mic. If you don't have any question, you can mute your mic. Let's see if uh, our, yeah. It's running. It's running. Okay. Let's get back to the coding part. So now I can navigate, but I think to do that, I should have the React Router door. Uh, uh, and we installed that import. I think all the React router DOM, they are actually uh, in a, uh, as in a sub component. So we have to have the browser router and the, the route, the link or nav link. Yeah, you can both keep them and alternatively use them. And when you finish, you can remove uh, and the, the package you don't need. And anyway, browser router, route, link, nav link, we used this last time, if you remember. And then we use switch uh, as in a capital because the reason why we make them capital be because they are uh, components and redirect and prompt. Uh, we didn't talk about prompt with router and something like that. Uh, is there any route we didn't mention? Okay, no. So you can say, hey, route. Uh, then this route actually is a component by itself. But to, to use the route, you should have, yeah, the, you can go and read this. Maybe it's very good information you may get. Sometimes uh, the uh, warnings are very good. Mm. Module not found, cannot resolve. But what? That, that it doesn't sound because we have it there. But uh, instead, that, that's not a very good uh, a warning. But I think what you should do if you are, uh, if you have a plan to apply the routing, you have to wrap everything browser, router, something like this. Uh, and so as you can see, everything doesn't look good and your application is not even running. And I think what we can do, we should run it, rerun, we stop and rerun. Okay. It says the module, the module was not found, but as you can see, we have seen it here, yeah, it start working. So sometimes it may happen like that. We installed React Router. So this is how you check. Okay, great. Now we wrap everything in the browser router. And let me think, uh, let me uh, do, I can use then the, the route. Route takes, yeah, I think it used to show some kind of complaint or warning, but it didn't. This takes two parameters. That is the path where to go and the component, what component to render, yeah. And then now for this, uh, for instance, I, did, I don't have to use that curly bracket. I can just put it like this home and what I want to render the home component. And now let me just comment this out for, for some time. Yes, this is what we see. 
can we, how about if we copy and repeat this? And then I call it about, and this should be also about there. Yeah. Then as you can see, you have home, and then about, but as you can see, the home is lingering, yeah, all the way. Now we can just even add the contacts and maybe you can just this uh, contacts. And then of course you can change this also contacts and see, uh, yeah, uh, still the home is lingering because what, what does these routes or paths uh, in common, actually, the slash is in common. So since the slash is in common, uh, the slash is common for all, I can avoid by applying this exact. And now, yes, it vanished, great. Now, even for instance, last time I told you that whenever, for instance, if you say about and uh, additional slash, we can avoid that for, by adding strict exact and strict together actually yep it vanished but it's not really very important to uh to um to restrict that maybe there might be cases uh route i can again copy this and then courses and courses. If I go courses, guys, we implemented the routing already. So maybe shall we have a short uh, 10 minutes break and continue? I hope you got the uh, idea and we can keep going after 10 minutes. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay, welcome back. So we've been writing this route. So as you can see, you have four routes, the home route, the about, the contacts and courses, and we managed to route the different components and it sounds and feels like uh, we are actually uh, accessing different pages, actually not. So if you remember, here I have created a components and a folder and let's take them all there. For instance, I can call home.js. And now, since we're very familiar with how to create, I can use this to create a, a functional component. And today, even I will talk about this, what this means, prop types. And let's just put it there. And, uh, and now I just want to say here, that one, home suite. Um, and maybe we need more, uh, maybe uh, Lorem, does it Lorem work here? Okay, it's not. It is home and the best uh, place uh, to be, uh, be for. Yes, uh, of course we have to import that so I can import it, import home from, yeah, home. Now first I have to go to the components, components and home. Uh, why? Yeah, why? As you can see, it says that there's another home already declared two times. We can't declare it two times, right? So I have to remove it. Yeah, now it should work again. Now we don't need all these tiny components instead. We have to make uh, uh, other components inside here. And we can say about.js and I think R, this can help me good one. And H1, uh, what did I write? I was trying to target H1 about us and contact. H1, 
please contact us. No, just contact us is good enough. Contact us is good enough. But guys, at the meantime, as you have noticed that uh, installing a package is taking us a long time, right? So how about in the meantime, if we install a package, you know, while we are doing this, I can say npm, why is that? npm, npm install moment, moment. If you want to install more package, you can say bootstrap. Yeah, I can say bootstrap. Uh, whenever I will, I will show you, instead of just using only bootstrap, actually, it's very good to use React strap, the one I showed you some time ago. I think this is the React, uh, that's okay, React strap. Okay, the difference between uh, that uh, React strap, uh, React on my server, that's not, uh, the difference is actually, uh, this is a component. Anyway, the React strap has to use also bootstrap. We have to install both to work. Yeah, so I will install npm install moment bootstrap react react strap react strap. I think this is good enough for the time being. Yeah, and we will see. We will check this later. Now let's get back and just work on. Uh, so this is the about, uh, uh, this is the about, the contact, and I think I'll left with courses. Courses of JS, and I may say, uh, now H1, courses, yeah, now we go to the map, .js, and we may import all of them. Import uh, about uh, from components and about, yes. And import contacts from, yeah, uh, from contact components and contact. For say contacts is much better name, so I think I should call it again. Rename it uh, contacts. Yeah, and it's good also to change all. Uh, if I, if you may have also these contacts, and maybe it's here also contacts, contacts, and I have to change it everywhere. Yeah, great. Let me get back to the app uh, where i think now we are left with courses import uh, courses from components and then courses yeah i think after this everything should start working yeah great because we connect it and now let's see the installation and make use of bootstrap yeah uh, because it's so easy to use we don't have to write much. Uh, yeah, still it's installing some of the packages. Then let's just keep going. Now you know the basic routing. As you can see, you have basic routing. And the last week, if you remember, we even changed this to a, a class-based component to have a state. But do you think, guys, now do we have to change this to class-based component to get to have a state? Uh -huh. No, no, because it's possible to use hooks and you can access the state. But something we didn't implement, uh, for instance, if I write something about and if I say about me, uh, still I can see this person, yeah? Uh, it's So we have to use the switch. Uh, maybe the switch, if you remember, I just wrapped everything I have inside switch that's it's not only that actually i will have also one route and then the path is going to be i don't give it any path component and it's going to be uh component 
H1 not found. Not found. Because I didn't close this. About me as you, well, for some reason, the about me, the how, how is that possible, okay? Uh, let's say courses, and if I write HTML, mm, I was expecting, uh, so I think we should implement exact, exact, because that's really not something we want to happen. Yeah, have you seen now the difference? Yeah, without the exact, even we were managed to access uh, about me, there's no route like that, but we accessed that. So it's better to do it something like this. Uh, if we want to do that, maybe we can also, but it's okay now. Uh, this is one of the, the way I want you to do it. Uh, now I want to access import um, react, if you say remember, use state from react. You have to, you don't have to have this one, this part if you don't want. You can just import the user state. Okay, then we can make use of, yeah, but to be honest, I'm in favor of uh, uh, this uh, function, uh, uh, this row function than this, so I have to change it. And then I may write here, Cornest uh, is locked in and Say it um, or maybe handle say it login say it login and use state. What do you expect? A boolean, right? By default, just false. And then we can write here corners handle uh, login. And you may see that. But if I want to have a button somewhere, where do I implement that button somewhere? For instance, I can put this the button, a button, and it's going to be logging, log in. No, but why it doesn't look like a button? I made a typo. Yeah, 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 it's just, it doesn't happen here. Yeah? Okay, so we have to attach it on click. When we attach it, we have to invoke it, handle uh, logging or handle logging. Uh, handle login sound login. Sound fancy, but it doesn't matter. You can write anything which is easy for you. And uh, log in. And an, an easy way for me sometimes, just an easy and lazy way, alert, alert and hi, uh, just to see if it's connected, yeah? Yes, it is connected. Now I can use this to set, set logging. And actually I can just use Boolean, is logged in. So as you can see, I'm flipping it now and then. Uh, but this never. So uh, last time we used conditional rendering to change this value. I will show you. Okay, let's. You use curly bracket. You need a curly bracket. Is logged in. If it's true, so if 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 we logged in, if we are inside, we have to go out. So log out. Else we have to log in. Log in. Yeah, and this sound good for me. Uh, now, as you can see, we toggled. Oh, great. 
now in the meantime, you learn how to use the uh, conditional rendering uh, and we use React hooks to handle the state. Yeah, but still, as you can see, our page refresh, as you can see, it's refreshing. Why? We did forget something. We did forget something. What did we forget? A prevents. Hmm? It prevents def uh, defaults. It's somehow similar, but now we are not submitting anything. And how do we prevent that? Here, we have to do it differently. Uh, the thing is somewhere around. You should think about somewhere around. Maybe link. Yes. And we don't use this, the href, so we have to change this. Uh, so I have to change this. I have to change it to nav link. Nav link. And that's going to be two. Instead of href, it should be two. And then I will change this to also. Have you seen how I change it the lazy way? It's really good sometimes when you change your mind, you can just change it instantly. Now let's see, it is so nice. The user, it's like the user experience, the feeling is really good. You just navigate, it's now refreshing. That's the power of modern uh, JavaScript libraries. Not only React, most of them works like that. But last time, if you remember, we want to prevent this course. The course should be prevented. It should be accessed if the user logged in. OK, how do we do that? Actually, we did something like this. You have to have this. You have to do some kind of a, a callback. And you have to call this. And you have to have some conditional rendering here again. So how does it look like? We can let's have more space for writing. Then what we should do is logged in. If it's logged in, what do we see? It should be the course, yeah? If not, we should redirect the person to home again, or maybe we have to inform him to uh, pay or to do something else. Have you seen this? We're just doing conditional rendering. If you logged in, access the course. If not, we are redirecting it to the home page. Okay, home easy to access, about easy to access, and contact is easy to access, courses. Have you seen it? Just forwarded me to? the home page but now let me log in and again courses now yeah, just to make it more uh welcoming we can do some uh, courses uh as you can see, I can't, but if I log in and click, courses will come to the courses. Great. Now, maybe how about if we have, I mean, in the courses, maybe if you have many courses, how do you handle that? Like course, HTML, JavaScript, and more navigation. How do we handle that? Now let's do list. A list of links. No? Yeah, yeah, that's yes. Let's do that by courses. And we can just do again uh, URL, your list of uh, again nav uh, link. Nav link. Uh, what is that? Nav link. Yes, and we can say course HTML course. Uh, of course, you don't see it here. I have to log in to see that. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, in, instantly it needs the two. Uh, so HTML, at least not HTML only. Actually, I have to go to first courses and then to the HTML. 
uh, as you can see, then when I click this, I have to access the HTML part. Of course, now it's going and it says not found. Yes, it was, it's working according to uh, our will or so, yeah, we don't have any, any information for that. So let's duplicate this. Maybe, maybe if we need a list uh, or a formatting. Okay, and then we can get this at least uh, or we want to have how many courses uh, we can do CSS and JavaScript course that would be enough uh, for a demo right. Uh, okay, CSS course and then this JavaScript. JavaScript. Of course, we have to log in even to see the course. Yeah, now as you can see, there's something. And uh, now the plan is to navigate also in this hub, uh, nabs or menus. Uh, yeah, not found. Yeah, because we don't have navigation for that. Of, of course, we have to have route two here for this. Uh, when it's clicked, we have to have some routes. Then the route, uh, for that, do we have any HTML? We don't have HTML courses. Honest uh, HTML. Yeah, HTML course. This is a component by itself, and I have to render it. And then H1 HTML uh, introduction to HTML. I think this would be good and where am I? It would be nice if we have the HTML is a building a block of any website. Yes. And then we can modify this for CSS and for JavaScript too. And then I call this CSS. Yes. Yeah, this seems HTML and CSS, uh, no, CSS course. Oh, yeah. I uh, ask, yes, yes. Uh, Bring, bring all the beauty. You can add. I don't know if it makes sense. Uh, let's say JS course and and I call this. interactivity and dynamic content. I don't know, I don't have to go much. Uh, it's just for a demo. Then this takes all the time a path, right? A path, we can just give it the path. Uh, for instance, uh, we uh, have a courses and then HTML for that path, we can render the component again. And the component name is actually HTML. And let's see with the first course. And if we succeed, uh, why? A route is not defined. Yeah, then as you can see, we don't have route here. Uh, then we have to, we didn't import this by the way. The VS code just helped us. Uh, just imported so we can add the route here, but why it didn't do for us for route. Now it should work. Yeah. Okay, go. First I have two. Now if I go here, uh, not found. Why? Let me see the route. 
horses, dot, uh, horses and HTML. So let's see the routing if. This is what I have, courses. Uh, maybe is uh, the component should say HTML courses. No, uh, not not one, but courses. Where is it? Forty between forty one and forty two. For courses. Like name of the component. The name in of green, the in green, this one. The name of the component is it's it's okay. Oh no, yeah. This okay, but. Uh, most probably it's related to the path. And let's log in again and try to access this. Not found, that's nice, why? And let's see the path, the courses and HTML, that's what I see. Okay, let's see, I'll try to look. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, can mm -hmm. I ask what, what do you receive as props? As a pro, it, it doesn't matter. We can leave it also empty for the time being because we don't make use of. But the props, anything related to the uh, routing and anything. But now we don't. Uh, for the time being, we can just uh, uh, should access this. Why? Is there any, okay, I think the easy way sometimes when I have, when I suspect if there's a type or something, I copy it, but it seems there is no typo here. Okay. Mm, maybe. Yeah, refreshing is not good because it. Uh... Mm. Let's let me implement for others too. Of course, it's in CSS. And if we get luck for others, you never know sometimes. And and this just Mm. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe I think this needs absolute. Yeah, uh, this needs uh, strict, strict. Strict and exact. Uh, one of the that could be the reason, and we might uh, get the, that. Uh, well, it can be the course. Okay, and I have to have. Exact. Exact in uh, 
uh, and I have to also use the switch over again because now the problem is the not found is uh, getting a chance to be selected and we can avoid that. Mm -hmm. Route is up to here and we can use the switch again. Ah, it's lingering as there, why? Hmm. Okay, let me comment out the unfound this there. And we will see that. And I can implement it differently. I okay, I'll put fine do this and if i go here of course i have to why i thought we wrote something in the components no we managed to access for it. Seems it, it looks empty. Okay, let me see and try something if it doesn't have. Oh, it has some information. Uh, but why we don't see it? I don't know if it matters, but in the FGS file components in the root, they are in purple and here they are in green. Oh, uh, where? <laughs> Uh, for example, uh, uh, line 40, uh, between 45 and 46, this is JS course component, this in uh, curly brackets, not yeah. this name. Uh, it is in green and uh, in the objects somehow the same are in purple. In the app.js. Okay, I use 40, 47 in purple. Names. Mm, the component, uh, component. It is uh, the yeah. Maybe it's one inside because it's somehow in the browser in the browser route router. So it may be because of that. Let me see again what we have courses. Oh, should uh, should really work courses. We so do you use a. Uh... Upper case for courses or lower case? <clears throat> uh, it, it, it's lower case as you can see. Uh, maybe I can uh, I can do some some other method. Okay, uh, what I can do? Uh, we can also turn off the this the not found there for some time, and I will show you some other way of handling. Okay, where is courses? Mm. Let's uh, print the props here. What do we have inside the props? Console.log and uh, I can just print props. And to see what is in there, I have to click first here and uh, it seems empty. Uh, uh, definitely this could be empty, but let's try the uh, courses. Yeah, yeah, it should be empty. True, true. Um, there's, there was something which I have missed. Yeah, mm, because uh, the pro... <laughs> I will, I will show you. Have you seen this? Uh, now, this course doesn't know the routing history props. So now I want to pass these props to the courses like this dot 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 uh, props. And I think now when I'm printing, I should get something. Have you seen now? Because it didn't get the uh, uh, history of the 
routing history. And because of that, it was hard to uh, access it. Yeah. Now, as you can see, it has a history of uh, the, the path. Have you seen? Yeah, we, we, we get the history of the, uh, of course, this is coming so, uh, from the course. Yeah, I have to click it on the course. Actually, we can uh, do, uh, make use of this. Okay, as you can see, the path is uh, of courses. Okay, good. How about this one? Yeah, but you don't see anything. Uh, let's see that. Where are we? I have to be in the, the courses. Uh, so instead of doing this, actually, we can inject or make use of this. Uh, but someone said that uh, uppercase and lowercase. Well, what do I say? I'm expecting. It's the same thing, but I have seen also. Oh, this is uppercase here for some reason. And that could be also one of the major reasons for us to be blocked, but still it's uh, blocked. But uh, it should be the same case. Okay, guys? Yeah, I, I, did, I couldn't see it. So now what I can make use actually this courses. How do I access? It's inside a match. So I will show you. Let's go to the courses again. Console.log, drops, dot match. And then let's just see the match, what we get from the match. Yeah, this is what I got from the match. Uh, from the match, actually there is, uh, we can call goes for path dot path. Have you seen it's it says courses. Maybe we can use this here as in a route. So how can we use it? I can use this. Then I can use this props. Now oh, this uh, props dot match dot path, and then match them. I think we can do the same for all. And then it will be in the same. This could be CSS. This could be JS. Hmm. Yeah, if that's the string interpolation in the JavaScript thing. Yeah, you know, everybody knows that. But I think I forgot the slash here. No, uh, but I didn't. Let me see what do I get? Is, am I getting the slash or not? Yeah, I'm getting the slash. So I don't have to add slash in here. So it's it's just already good. So now let's see. I think now I'm expecting. Oh, there's nothing happening. Mm. Oh no, by now I should see the, the courses. Yeah, we are there. And let me see the JavaScript. Okay, if I have this problem, I may check previous codes I wrote at some point in time. Okay. because I don't have any idea why this react dom. I think I may have some example already. Uh, let's see. 
uh, as you can see, maybe topics is a bit similar and yeah, even this is, doesn't have anything and it just works. Uh, as you can see, page one, page one, page two, page three, and it's rendered here. And okay, let me go to the app.js. Yeah, it should be, as you can see, the props has to be sent to also the topics. Uh, something wrong is happening there. Let me see. Mm. Uh, I feel even stopping this for some time to just to Test courses, right? I it may be the case. Uh, maybe it should be curly brackets. All this pass. It mm -hmm. seemed in the previous code it was. You showed it right from GitHub. Yeah, it's true. The, this one, you mean? Uh, the code you saw on the your courses here. Pass no, name. In your GitHub. Okay, uh, and so yeah, uh, okay, I'll show you back. It's most probably, where was it? It's here or here. Yeah, but in the courses, right? The, the courses section, the topics section, uh, you mean this, right? Yes. Yeah, you put in the curly bracket, yeah. like, like now, it's in the curly bracket in our case also, as you can see now. Uh, of course, we are extracting the, the, this, the part, the props to match from the parents. Uh, let me just, as you can see, I'm getting that this, the courses, Mm, let me see this part now link. Let's copy that code if it works for us. Mm, we some example. And we can fix that from there. Uh, I can just copy everything we have here and change it to the courses. And yeah, if even it should work like this uh, without much change and let's see and Is the courses? Yeah, something wrong. So what's no, wrong in here? It's or oh, yes. oh, maybe you should restart this server. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking somehow because it seems Sometimes such kind of things happen. So you get over it.
Uh, no, it's a serious problem. Oh uh, yeah, because we don't have topics. Yeah, I have to change to topics. Uh, just to make it similar to the new code. So this should be topics. what um, and I have to change from here also No, no. What does that the code looks like here in the main route? Oh, we yeah, I should go to the nav bar. It's the same. Can also so sorry, is it possible to comment it out and then to check it one after the other? Uh yes. Well, can we start from here and uh and then we can focus on one of the route. Topics.html. Now we're accessing this and you know, for that again. Yeah, to topics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The exact pass also sometimes prevent pass. Huh, huh, huh. I see that. Uh. So there is uh, some. So this the exact uh, path is actually preventing me just to access additional because this is not going to be only topics, then at some point it has a, a, ch a children and it buys, but this the exact actually was preventing us from doing the, the navigation. So such kind of things happen. Oh yeah, that, that was not nice actually, but we can get used to them in uh, even I am in favor of now with the code I wrote at the very beginning. And now, as you can see, uh, I am accessing a, a Did I change everything again? Okay, props. Uh, Maybe you should check what you check in, comment in, because Mm. Went out. I think we need that. The the part JS is good so far. Uh, 
and we have docs the course and and maybe this district uh, also not a very good thing they can just Uh, we have also here exact, which may not be important. Uh, okay, then I have to go back again to the app.js and uh, hmm. Now uh, then instead of this, let's just access the Mm -hmm. At this time, I have no idea why we couldn't manage to access. Oh yeah, we changed it. Uh, we didn't change everything because uh, topics still. This one is topics. Words. Yes. Sometimes when you do something like that, you may have. Uh, And the others are still topics. Where are they? Here. Yeah. Okay. That just says all are welcome to the course. I thought it has some different message. And let's see the course component. No. Uh, it's not navigating for some reason. Courses. Yeah, I think now we're navigating. Yeah, so just some tiny uh, details uh, killed our time. Yeah, now this is everything you need uh, related to React Router DOM. We covered something we didn't do before. By the way, this one, for instance, uh, we've been attaching this. Sometimes there might be a case to use that. So does it really work? Then let's see now after we fix everything. We can just start by one of the route. I can pass it here. Yeah, and let's see if we manage to access the first page. Yeah, as you can see, I managed to access it with uh, this props.match.path. So if you that means dynamically we're accessing this, uh, this uh, path. There might be a case, uh, you may need this kind of extraction of the navigation route. So it's very good to know. Yeah, in the mean now, so since we installed the bootstrap, uh, I think by now the bootstrap has been installed already. Mm, but before that, we have to do some cleanup uh, for instance, we can add, uh, what is this? Uh, navigation active link. That's very important. Out of the box, you just get a, a active link, right? And maybe it's also a good idea to take this to one a component. Yeah, I can just call it uh, somewhere here. 
separate nav bar.js. Yeah, yes, good. And you don't need this. And we will, but it's in nav link. So we will have to do import uh, nav link, nav link uh, from. Not not like that. React now link from React router from. That's usually. Then I have to import it. Import now far from dot components and now bar and do you, where do you want it to be i hope you want it to be somewhere around here outside the switch now bar and of course we have to see if it's working you know you never know yeah it's still working but the button is somewhere there and now let's restructure our code somehow. And then last time, if you remember, we just gave active link, active, active class name, active class name, and I call it active. And you have to duplicate this for all of them. And it should start working. Maybe it may not work somehow, but we will. Uh, of course, we have to go and write CSS on here. Let's destroy everything. Dot active, maybe uh, color orange. Yeah, it's so easy to just see. Oh, yeah. But as you can see now, again, the home is lingering. Yeah, now uh, it, this doesn't allow me to get in. Of course, I have to get in. Now two are active, but that's not true actually. What's active now is just the course. How do I, how do I remove that? We have, we implement this last time, just remind me. Okay, you go to the now bar again. And this, since as you can see, this slash is common for all, then just change this to exact and then it will be okay. Now, as you can see, we manage to uh, if, if you make also to add that, you do the same thing for the sub uh, navigation. Where is it actually? I have to go to the courses and I have to apply the same here. Yes, good. And good. Good. But here, it, since it's different, you don't have to apply this exact or whatsoever. Then it's just start working. Yeah, as you can see, of course, this should be active. And after that, this and this. Ah, great. Now, uh, one thing we didn't learn is actually, uh, I will show you where is it in the nav. If you remember browser route, you know how to use route, you know how to use nav link. We have used it, but now we don't need it here. Okay, switch, we have used it. Redirect, we have used it too. Prompt, we didn't use the prompt yet. How do we use the prompt? Okay, the prompt, for instance, when you're writing on some social media or something, you wrote something and you forgot. You forgot to send it or post it and you, when you were uh, when you try to refresh the page, it says, do you really like to refresh the page? You will lose uh, what you wrote or something. Some kind of notification will come because that's a kind of a notification uh, that keeps your data from uh, vanishing, actually. So you then either you submit it or if you change your mind, uh, you can just uh, uh, refresh or reload the page and you will not have that anymore. So I think you got the idea, right? Yes. Yes. So that actually 
come. So maybe I can have a look uh, here. I have seen somewhere implemented. Uh, I can go to the uh, uh, apps page. Uh, it's uh, somehow uh, we use it prompt. So where the, we can write it anywhere. I think I can, uh, I can write it anywhere. For instance, here, I can write it here. Uh, so it says prompt. Uh, when, when do we want to see the prompt? If the user is not logged in, then the message is going to be, if location pass starts with topics, now in our case, actually courses, and we will say, return, uh, you reached a premium section. So that means if you remember that, we don't let this to be accessible by everyone, right? So instead of redirecting, actually we should have sent some kind of a message uh, that says, you reach the premium section, yeah? And then it, it directed me to the home. I have you seen? You reach it a premium section, but instead of doing this, if you, if you are writing some text here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Div. Text area. Because this, I usually see it in text area most of the time. Uh, so now, okay. I am writing here something now. I just uh, left the computer. I forgot to submit it or post it or whatever. Then when I return, I am I usually do. I may try to go this or refresh something. And what it says actually, uh, this. Uh, you forgot to submit uh, what you wrote or something. So. This the prompt uh, help you to save your data from uh, a vanishing. I mean, it remind you. Yeah, the, with this, we have covered everything that you need to know about React Router DOM. Great, since we installed, uh, what happened with this? I don't know what's happening here. Even I don't need this. Uh, a div, even I don't need the div I have, if I have anywhere, I don't need it. Uh, but something is not closed. Is everything okay? I don't know what that color, what that color means. Okay, good. Uh, now, uh, since we have already installed the React, uh, the uh, React, uh, a strap and the bootstrap, now we can make use of. So I told you, you don't have to remember everything. You come here documenting not only for this, for any kind of technology, you go to the official website and then read how to use. As you can see, we have to import the bootstrap and that we have to put it, it there. I have to put it here in the source in the index file. This is how I do, I copy it. And then I have to put it here, somewhere, uh, anywhere you want. Uh, let's just put, and right away, there will be lots of changes in my, uh, yeah, there's a change, right? Yes, bootstrap start working. And yeah. then, yeah, then again, how do we install the React strap itself? This is how we install and we did already. How do we import a button? Yeah, import button. Now, instead of creating our own button, I can show you how to make use of import, import uh, button uh, from where? From React Strap. And then maybe instead of overriding what we had, I can say just button, and then there should be a name here. Of course, I call it my sample for now. And uh, let's see how to use. As you can see, if you want the color to be like this danger, so it takes a props. The props is a color. I mean, uh, the color is a props and you can change danger, warning whatsoever. Uh, so let's go here. 
and I can call it color, and then I call it danger. And then maybe I can have many kind of danger, uh, warning, uh, just a danger, uh, success. Info. Hmm? Info. Info. Don't worry, info, 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 information, info. Yeah, info, yes, good. Uh, information, so info. Uh, let's see, these are the common and most probably that, but you don't have to remember. So let's just this danger button. So let's danger, and this is just for warning a kind of button, and uh, this is going to be success, and uh, this is going to be info, and let's see how it looks like. Uh, so I'm expecting something, as you can see, uh, we start getting a beautiful, some kind of uh, uh, whatsoever kind of patterns anyway, but you can put them in a div, a separate div and it may look uh, different. Uh, I mean, you can, or you can add at least for the time being, just this. Is the fake suppression for the yeah now if we just want to also change our button we can change our button hey button change the button because we had already a button right and and we have to give it a color i think for this i can just say primary our primary, they should have a primary. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, still it works. Uh, now, now let's just have the, the, some kind of a header for our webs, I mean, for our uh, portfolio. Let's create a header. That's this. And React, uh, first here. Okay, then I may say header. And actually, I like to import the nav bar here. By the way, you can just then tap, then React will. And I can just also import this one to the app. Uh, maybe I think in, if you want to do it the lazy way, what you should do sometimes, I can do. Uh, where is the nav bar here? Uh, somewhere around. I can say header, and then you can see it here already. Just tap, then it's already imported. I don't have to do this two times. I can remove it, and I can just take this uh, button somewhere else if I want. But at least it seems it's not the right place. I want them to be below here. Uh, this could be anywhere because just instantly it comes out. Uh, yeah, so the point is now let's have a navigation. So then how do we search and how does it look like a nav? Uh, nav. Nav bar. Okay. Uh, have you seen this nav bar? So it's, it has some kind of a react. Uh, oh, no. That's not a good because, yeah, to make a kind of a, such kind of a collapsible nav bar, they, we have all the code here. Uh, you can have also you know, different types uh, with the, uh, this, they call it uh, hamburger menu. As you can see, the hamburger menu go down and you can here and take the code and make part of your, but let's uh, at least make use of this one, the formal one, okay? So what we can do actually, uh, let's go, let's just copy this one. And, but I have to go to more of the nav because we are working on the nav. Uh, but most probably I don't need all of them. We will remove step by step. After that, I need to import and uh, take this code with me, all this. 
and remove something you don't need. I can separately work on this here. Uh, so now bar, color light, light extend, medium. Uh, this is a brand name. You may say call it maybe a portfolio. A portfolio. Yeah, usually for a company, it, it, this uh, is going to be then brand name. Uh, collapsible, open. Uh, so is it, uh, but now we don't need any collapsible. So we may remove this. Uh, collapse. Now for takers, that's okay. So as you can see in this navbar item is actually at least one item and navbar link is, you know, it already is, it's the React router drum, but this nav item is a list. So these are the lists. Do we need this one? We don't need. So we remove the up to here. Okay. So uh, uh, no. uh, navbar item here, we can just keep it also there, but we can just get it inside here and something uh, collapse. No, we don't need a, something that collapses for the time being. Uh, now for toggle, no toggling for the time being. Yeah, this is what we need. We do we need the div? We don't need the div. And let's take this and put it here. Uh, so when we transfer, we should be aware of what to put, uh, the about and all others. Uh, yeah, I can, what's this all? Yeah, I can do it outside for instance i can call this just the home and just home is what we have right this and we need the active uh, because it may not have and with this uh, guys do you follow you just do copy and put and as you can see, this it's not even changed to for some reason to a component, then you have to change it to two uh, nav link. Uh, but maybe it's better to change all the others later. First, let's see with just a few of them if it works. Now we have the nav and everything. I can just take this. And maybe just even if I put it here, uh, it should work, but yeah, so yeah, it's, it's still working, but let's uh, uh, change everything now. Nav link, uh, link item about. About and then another context and context. What else do we have? A uh, courses, and that will be the last. And then after that, we don't need this. We don't need this. And we don't need this too. They are realist. And if we are so lucky, this should be working. Uh, okay. What? Now link? Now bar. So now link has already been declared. As you remember, we. Uh, now link that and this is a bit different so oh yeah so i can just 
make use of that. Uh, now bar. Identifier now bar has already been used because this the has already. I can change it with a nav bar, something like that. And we don't need all this. But as you can see, my component name and yeah, now it start working and now and it seems that uh, no no button is involving there. So what, what happened? Let, let's see. Let's figure out. Nav link and uh, yeah, it's, it's surprisingly the nav link they have here in a. Uh, I, I just let me keep my uh, import React uh, uh, link from React drop boom. Definitely, this type will be changing module not found. Uh, yes. Uh, then there should be a component, I think. What the, uh, have you seen the problem, guys? They like they use a uh, href instead of two. Yeah. So then I think maybe uh, there should have a component that works the way I want now. And the, now, bar. Maybe. Mm -hmm. In this case, then it needs uh, some kind of uh, modification. Uh, we can apply this the, the bootstrap now with this, uh, the and, and uh, what we can see, we can look for the class name for navlink. Uh, class name for now link bootstrap four or five, and I will get it and make use of that. Uh, I think it's going to be nav link. So I can make use of this and it will be uh, working uh, unless, uh, and I will keep this uh, class name. Uh, but I have to first see if it uh, looks, yeah, it start working, right? Yeah, so I can just duplicate that, but it might it, they they may have uh, somewhere with a two. Now I'm just changing the component. I'm not using this now is not theirs, but it's from React Router Dome, and they use also something similar. With have you seen now? I just uh, managed to uh, fix it, and. Why don't do you see that I don't see the active link? What was the problem? I don't see the active link. Uh, we need another class on bootstrap. Yeah, uh, bootstrap override it. Uh, bootstrap override it. Uh, guys, uh, now anyway, the point is you got just a very uh, a good template here, so you can keep working on that uh, whenever you want. Uh, but I don't want to use all those buttons. Uh, uh, 
So I just want to comment those buttons out and it will not be. The buttons. Shall we have a very short break of five minutes and uh, you will have a chance to, to breathe in and breathe out for some time? Yeah, and we'll keep going again. See you soon. Yeah. Okay. I hope you're around. And if you don't know Bootstrap, it's a CSS framework. So, Bootstrap, I think now their, their latest version is uh, Bootstrap 5. I could say, yeah, uh, it's it's a very big and very popular uh, CSS uh, library. The documentation is like this. Uh, you can just make a good website in a short amount of time. Yeah, great. Uh, and we are not going to do uh, here Bootstrap. Or you can add the uh, you can continue after this. But as you have seen that, you can use the React strap. The React strap are components, uh, but you can just use the pure uh, bootstrap. The difference is, in this, maybe I think this might not be easy for you. For instance, instead of writing the button component uh, from bootstrap, you can just write button. And if you just change the class name danger, I think in Bootstrap, you have to say BTN and then uh, BTN danger. Is that? I would check, or maybe just danger, danger. I can just try the different. Then uh, I think I didn't put anything there. Danger button. As you can see, the danger button. So maybe I think uh, if I remove this, it may not work. Yes, uh, the BTN is important when it comes to the BTN. Even it's not so, I remember it's like this, BTN danger. Yes. So the BTN is actually to make it a circle. Then if you want to do another more, when well, btn will be remain the same, this will be info and change it to info button. And you don't have to use this, the React strap, okay? And this also just straightforward and this success and warning whatsoever. Yeah, uh, danger, uh, uh, danger, danger. Okay, of course, you have to just change it there. I can see that. Uh, this instead of uh, success, everybody likes success, right? No, who doesn't? And uh, this is uh, button info, yeah. Now let's, uh, if you remember when we start, I think we installed also this React moment. Moment, where are you? Yes, let's import moment. In addition to moment, there is good React moment, such a lovely name, moment and theater. This is how you just search and go and see the documentation and also how to install, how much, how many people did down, the download this? Yeah, about 177, good enough. So it's popular, right? So you just copy this and install. NPM I, I is the shortcut for install. Then what you should do is actually you come here again because you need actually both moment and anything minuscule react moment. Yes. Uh, then how do we use it? So you have to have a documentation over here. Uh, this is how you import uh, imp import moment from react moment. You can I can copy this by the way and put it uh, in one of my file. Uh, in the main or wherever you want to use it. So I imported this. And then again, uh, let me see. For instance, this is the time. This is the time format, right? This time is not a very kind of uh, good time format. And uh, you have to format it. So. I may show you an example here. 
Uh, yeah, so let's see this for instance. Uh, this could be the format. Now this is good. This is really good to notice, okay? Uh, uh, we can do it here and you can just see it. As you can see moment, you have the component, you called it, and what format do you want it to be? Year, month, and day. And this data will be rendered. But the, where, did, where does this data comes from? It, it comes from uh, from a date object. Uh, as you can see, it's formatted to a proper way. Uh, most probably you can also change it to the European way, for instance, 19, 0, 4, and year. Uh, if you want to change it that way, I think what you should do is uh, first a day, and then a month, uh, and then a year. So you will have a European way of yeah, as you can see, in 1904. And maybe you may need a time, maybe the time uh, sometimes a church. Small mm. minute. As you can see now, I so the time I got also the time, the time stamp. So as you can see that HH is hour, MM is minute. So why small? Because capital MM has been already used. But how do you know this formatting? Do you have to remember? No. Uh, I told you already, in the moment, you can use a different time format. Uh, 10 years ago, for instance, this is the kind of a moment that will help us to calculate how many years ago was this time. Yeah? Uh, maybe if you see the format I wrote it now, uh, if you see moment, and then you, if you pass the time here, and then from now. So this, the from now is actually uh, helps you to, uh, to calculate uh, the, the time. But uh, in, let me see, date. Yeah, uh, so in React, it's, uh, that is in uh, pure JavaScript. And this, as you can see, now we can make use of this uh, component and I will show you what you may get. Uh, as you can see, this is start date or just the date. Uh, mm, so maybe uh, this time has to come from somewhere. Format this and trim duration from now. Uh, for instance, let's just the now new uh, date. Uh, if it takes an object, moment is not defined here because uh, we don't have moment now. We have React moment, okay? Now, where did I render my time? Now, let me just add separation a break. Uh, zero, zero, because as you can see this, the, uh, what is this? Uh, the starting is from now. So it's better to find another time. Uh, I'm not sure if it takes it as in a string. Let me just pass this time as in a string. And if it's, uh, parse it, uh, and as you can see, 395, what is this? I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what we got there, but let me see what it gave us. Uh, date, the starting time. It calculates our minutes and seconds. Uh, yes, but from uh, starting from when? 
because the year we have is actually 1976, right? But the format says hour, minute, seconds. Yes, yes. Our, uh, it says the format, uh, duration from now. Uh, let me just, was, I have no idea. I have never used that. Uh, that's, this one is just the format, as you can see. Uh, this, this uh, an hour and a minute and a second. Uh, let's see trim duration from now. Mm. Yeah, actually. <clears throat> Maybe if we change the time, time format to day, year, then it should change. Hours, these are hours, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah what is this actually is the number of the total hours uh, from 1976. From 1976 up to uh, now, from this amount of hours and minute and second. And if you refresh, it continues. Yeah, that's because this takes, uh, as you can see, the starting, this is the starting time and the format to change it for you. And yeah, but if we change it to another format, another, this is uh, from now, let me see. Uh, I think the form now could work also. Uh, no, it should. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, I just removed the other part, the date, it's this, this the date. And even we don't need this, the trimming part. Uh, what we need is from now, what's the, the uh, from now, from this date to, uh, uh, from this date to now, as you can see, it's 45 years ago. Yeah, so now, as you can see, I don't even remember them. What do I do? I have to go here and see the different formats. Yeah, so that is actually reading documentation. Now you know how to use this time. Um, what you should know is just be aware that there is a time package that allows you to do different time formats. As you can see, you can have the PM and the AM and all the different things. Yeah, great. Um, I think uh, let me check what uh, we planned to cover. Uh, that's most important right after we have covered a third party package. We saw a bootstrap moment material, US semantic UI, and maybe we did discussed about this. Let's destroy what we have covered, and bootstrap has been covered. A moment just last time we had a problem to install moment, uh, I'm sorry, not SAS, but it's very important. Let me try today, not. Uh, and PM install. Mm, okay, maybe I think I have to the latest version. I make it it's so here. You can also search from here, okay? SAS and PM. Uh, no, but I think it's better SAS. Yeah, and then you come here. As you can see, 4 million just in this way, quite a lot. Hmm. Hmm, but it, it looks different. I not sense. Still quite a lot, as you can see. And this is how we install, copy. And it just came here. And I think we don't have to import it like that and we should access it without uh, importing like this.
Yeah, now what I like about the semantic UI, the uh, semantic UI, yeah, the semantic UI really gives you beautiful uh, UIs out of the books. And also the code is so easy to copy, something like this. And in the meantime, actually, uh, let's install that, also see some of the functionalities you get. Uh, so the way you install it, and the PM install, semantic UI, and so you have to use NPM. Uh, I, don't, I don't see where it's it. NPM no gulp. Uh, even you can go to their GitHub and see how um, most of the time every website should have something documentation there. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, let's do this also. Uh, today, uh, now before we do anything, let's see if the node size here has been installed yet. It is here, and let's see. To write uh, CSS, then let's change this to SAS. Then if it works as CSS, this is how you write in the state of CSS, as CSS. And then of course we have to change also the name of the file. Yes. If it still works, then I think we have a problem again this time. Mm. Uh, this is a very good not version 6.02 is incompatible with uh, yeah this is the problem we had so let's see if there's a solution so as you can see other people also had a problem and let's see what the solution could be. Well, someone asked, and there are responses here, an uninstall, and the pin install, or, yeah, so what I should do is this thing, because, uh, because it worked for 869, that's why they liked it, and it should work for us too. Uh, this is how you uninstall, and we have to install this specific version that it's like doesn't work last week, uh, last time. Uh, I'm not sure because it, we were a bit uh, in a hurry. So, okay, okay, yes, I have to. Okay, well, do not install mode sense yet. Okay. And someone's also again, as you can see, but what's the difference between four, one, four, one? It's the same thing. Okay. Uh, uninstalling is also takes some time. When you develop an application, how much percent of your code uh, will be part of the application? When you develop an application, how, how, how much percent of the your code will be? At least 80%. Hmm? 80%. Yes, yes. 80% your code? I think less. Oh, uh, what? I don't understand that. So do you think your 80% uh, of uh, the uh, code will be what you wrote? 80, 80. It is yeah, 80, yes, yes, I got you. Yeah, eighty yeah. percent. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I would, I would say it's uh, too much. It most probably it's uh, the other way around. Maybe fifty. Yeah, about twenty percent of the code you uh, would would be written by you. The rest will be just different packages of just connecting together. Yeah, so that means you don't write pure things. So it's it's it 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 that's not how it works. I think uh, this time what we had is actually 
we were not able to install it yeah it was a problem of installing the npm uninstall okay So, so let me see. Hmm. Uh, even I can remove it manually. And uh, install this. But after you did that, you should also check it, what kind of version you installed. Remember, don't undermine the, the solution you get on Stack Overflow. It's really important, it's really important. I, I used to undermine it, like I, it seems just random, so I mean solution there, but any solution you get help quite a lot of people to do their assignments, to solve their problems, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I can share with you some of the Yes, yeah, so we talk about this. And in case if you don't know where to go, this is the React trap. This is the React trap. And of course, uh, you know Bootstrap website, so I don't have to share with that. And you know this is this is going to be your playground. You will come here now and then. If you are developing anything related to JavaScript and Node, okay, um, most probably. And of course, Stack Overflow will be your best friend. Mm. Uh, oh, I think uh, that's not a good idea closing that, but it's okay. Express you will use if you start the backend. As you can see, this is still running. I think we didn't close it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think we closed it already. Uh, still an EPM. And this is actually styled component. It is, it is really becoming very popular. I will recommend you also to check it out, styled component. So it's a bit different from Bootstrap. Uh, and semantic UI, as I showed you, there's there's lots of good. When you just go to the components, uh, I think this React trap. Uh, when you just go to the different components, you get get started. Mm. What was I? I was in there. Yeah, you do when you just scroll, you can, for instance, this, you get just such kind of a beautiful drop down. Yeah, drop down just. Um, and to where can you got the code? The code is also, uh, okay, let me see, where do I get the code? Hmm. Not there. Usually it's next to there. For instance, let me see it is. Yeah, now have you seen you see this? For, you know, then you click on here, source code, and you take the code. Uh, usually it's somewhere like this. Yeah, so um I, I like it somehow. Have you seen? 
such kind of things instead of you. For instance, this looks like somehow a GitHub uh, social media. Have you seen? So, so nice. Now you just get a co copy of this code and you will have a very beautiful thing. I think I really recommend you this semantic UI. The reason why I recommend you it's straightforward to, to make uh, and yeah, it's good one. Okay, let me see this. Uh, we couldn't manage to install this for some reason. Why? I can't understand. Uh, why? Hmm. Okay, let me see what is that. Sometimes I don't like the error I get it from uh, from PowerShell. No, oh, is it still installing or what? No, if it stops, I can open another. Yeah, what's the version? Problem. What the other did because this is really important, you need it at some point. Yeah, some people also report such kind of a problem on GitHub, and there is an ongoing conversation, and that's also another way of uh, getting new information. What's happening here? Uh, but in the meantime, is it? No, it didn't work. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, the SAS loader requires a node size four or five. Yeah, okay, you should be able to update SAS loader. Uh, then I think. Okay, this guy uh, as a dev dependency, uh, he used uh, node SAS as in just node SAS, let's do the uh, npm uh, install uh, node SAS, just what we had. The reason why we stick is because sometimes this definitely uh, will happen in when you work project. So, you know, you should know how to solve your problem. It takes some time, so that's why we are going out of time. Okay, then he said that as a dev dependency, uh, he, is in, he installed this SAS loader. So I have to install that at the same time while that's running in another, maybe here. We can just stop this. Okay, npm install this. So, okay. as dev dependency, because this is just uh, not part of the application, but for us to, to, to have pass load the CSCS. And now, as you can see, I'm running different. Uh, installing different application at the same time. So let's just give it some time. Okay. And yeah, so 
after you do such kind of a problem, you may need to remove, you may need to remove this, the node package and you should install again. And that's common problem and we should do it. It's, it's good for you to see, uh, it, it happened to me and you have a chance to see that. Remove uh, RF node module, I'm removing it. And in the meantime, I have also removed this one because this keeps the previous version of the packages we installed, yeah? Yes, we have removed then again, npm install. This might take longer time because now we are installing all the npm all over again. Okay, let's just give it some time. But guys, um, after this, some tiny uh, solutions, you may get some, some whenever we want to, some, some features to implement. You may use this, uh, my, uh, my repos, you may search like React, and then you may check this the React Spring, the examples, uh, for instance, how to implement this React Daytime. I think it's a kind of a project we did at some point. And if you see, uh, for instance, today is June 3, and it says evening, Sabine. And in the afternoon, it will be different, okay? In the afternoon, it's different. In the morning, it's different. The background will change. And the person also change as if uh, this, com this is uh, someone's computer, right? Uh, I think the name also change, as you can see, now it's randomly coming. Uh, and another thing, what I may suggest you, 30 days of uh, React, uh, I put most of the projects here. Uh, so practice the mistake, uh, do some of the projects are here. Uh, the JSX, uh, still JSX, maybe functional components and functional components, functional components, still I think mapping and uh, still just mapping, yeah, and mapping. And then here state, and then learning about state, conditional rendering, it's not there. And this is event handling and React form, we have learned it, but it's, it's not here. And um, there's this, the cut API. We've been using this cut API yesterday with the data analysis group. And uh, if you see the, this, the cut API, for instance, it, it just takes you to the cats. Yeah, so different cats in this world, especially if you are a cat lover, you can just uh, develop uh, this, uh, yeah, uh, challenge yourself. So uh, uh, this is good enough projects to get a job, by the way, uh, if you implement all the, those things by yourself. And if you, yeah, uh, let me just get back and see what's happening. It's not yet ready. So we have to wait uh, there. Mm, I, I have seen very good uh, feedback about 30 days of React or 30 days of JavaScript. Uh, uh, they tried others, but it was hard to. Uh, I think I see it in just script, but only HTML. Okay. Uh, uh, it may, it may, it's possible to make it work by adding extensions. Yeah. Sometimes when some, some extensions doesn't work for me, I don't do, I don't struggle here because I go with time. Me, there's a way to fix that. Yeah, and the, there are lots of things which doesn't work sometimes when I am uh, doing the teaching, so, uh, so I just ignore those kind of. Now, let's see if, uh, if it starts working again. Um, based on the solution, but I think uh, it's not anymore running, so let's start. NPM start. 
Yes. We just follow these people's uh, conversation. <laughs> I have downgraded to version five. I will let you know if I encounter any issues. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we managed to solve our problem. Now the beauty is like whenever you write, uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, you go here. Now, as you can see, it's, yeah. Now, the problem is actually you can write div. And if you have something inside P, uh, like you can do this. If you have something spun inside, you can write something like this. This is the power of uh, uh, color rate. OK, now I will show you an example for this. Uh, of course, this is not a CSS class, but it's good to show. Uh, maybe if I have some div here, and then I may have a div, I love uh, span uh, JavaScript. So we're expecting the JavaScript to be red, because uh, as you have seen the way I wrote it, go to the div, and inside the div, go to the P, and then there's the span. Uh, have you seen? It's very powerful. So I also recommend you to start using uh, this. Uh, and you can also declare actually like color. And you can say, um, for instance, green. Uh, have you seen? Once if you declare it at the top, you can see, uh, you can make use of that uh, declaration. Then you can say color. You can just uh, call it a, a color. This color, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think I just forgot the uh, SAS variables, calling the variables. Uh, yes. Yeah, we should uh, call it with the, the, this. And I forgot also this. Yeah, as you can see, it's green. Uh, you may say color, maybe instead text color, text color, um, background color. And so for any background color, it's going to be maybe gray, and then you may background, then um, it's not that one, this should be background. Oh no, background. Do we have to have same problem? Mm, we have to wait there for some time. What? So I think we do something wrong. Uh, text color, it's text color. Text, it's name, variable name. We renamed it. Well, we renamed it. So I forgot to make that text color now. Yeah, so you got the idea. I think documentation for that, uh, this is really powerful. It really increases your uh, chance of getting the job. And even to teach this has, I had to uh, prepare for that. I haven't been using it for some time. Uh, so, but it's really powerful. You just declare variables like this, and even you can have functions, you can make functions, mixings. It's really, really, really powerful tool. Yeah, uh, I think um, let's wrap up this lesson for today. Uh, material, yeah, but of course, if you maybe I think the last uh, thing we may check is going to be 
uh, semantic UI. Uh, as I showed you, you don't have to remember everything. Semantic UI, and it will give you. Yeah, even it's specific for React. Semantic UI React. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, Amazon, Netflix, and Microsoft, they are also using it. I, the, what, the, what it matters the most is not this, but this number matters the most. It's not really, really high, but it's okay. I can copy and just make use, and let's see. Uh, then in the meantime, you should see how to make use of this, and because you have to read the documentation. Mm. The semantic UI, the React semantic UI, it's, it seems not very popular. The, just the semantic UI itself, this is just somehow for me very popular than that one. I think those are two different things. Yeah, they are, so there are lots of similar things, guys. So you have to be also aware of that. Uh, this is just the native semantic UI. I can install both. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really hurt me much. Uh, okay, that's already done. I think that's the fibs. And let's do semantic UI and the React one. Yes, so we go here, the documentation. And now, for instance, if we want to implement some uh, Inputs, beautiful inputs. So far, I don't see very beautiful. Um, maybe I can see loaders because last time when we have been uh, loading the country, we didn't use a loader. You know, we, we could have used such kind of a loader that uh, our application is about to be loaded. For instance, this. Uh, this is just, you can, copy the code and make use of uh, a kind of a component. Even you can change that to a component, yeah? And I call this a loader. Yes. And RSCF a loader. But since I have already a code here, I can just make use of, as you can see, this should be changed to a class name. And now you're just done. Uh, I think I was expecting for my ESLint to format it, but it didn't. So now just what you do is actually import this. I can import it here somehow. Mm, Logger. And I have to go to see, yeah, because I have to wait for some time until the, the installation. But let me see if, it, if it's installed. Oh, I think we had a problem to install the semantic UI again. So we have to do some uh, workaround. So since we are running out of time and it's not important, you can fix it the same way I did for the node, uh, the, the SAS or the node SAS. So it's just okay. Uh, but it, there, there will be a solution uh, to fix it. As you can see, it's just say loading. But if it was properly working, it should navigate. Mm, of course, Bootstrap has already navigation. You can use also the Bootstrap navigation. Bootstrap, uh, uh, Bootstrap. Uh, loader, if you go see, because since we, mm, or maybe spinner, bootstrap, uh, spinners, yeah, such kind of spinners. So if I just take this name, and uh, since our, the, well, Where was the loader? Yeah. So just let's uh, see what we have here in common. Yeah, I can just add this here. 
and it should start loading most probably the spinning. I don't know, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. Uh, have you seen? But that's not what you want. So uh, it, it doesn't need any kind of uh, uh, something like this. So I think just uh, this is good enough. So you, there's hundred ways of doing the same thing. It's good enough to stop the recording and the lesson here for today.